Okay, so what we're looking at here is how we can use the Magic Mask tool to add more depth of field to the picture. So we've got here this shot of the girl walking down the alleyway and we want to defocus everything except her. Okay, so Magic Mask now has expanded so that you can actually use it for either uh, people or objects. So I'm going to use it for people in this situation. So what I'm going to do first is add a serial node so I can apply the magic mask into. Come to the magic mask area and then I can select whether it's people or objects. And so I want to select a person. And then what I want to do now is with my cursor draw a line here so as you can see now it's picked up the area here and then what I want to do next is track that so it's gone in both directions by using the forward button and the reverse button together here as you can see in this one so now that's done and now what we can do is we can turn off the highlight um, function I don't want to see the stroke anymore, so if I click on the three dots, I can deselect show stroke. And now I can work on her independently. But what I want to do in this situation is I want to defocus the background. So the way to do that is add a node, but add an outside node. This will give me the reverse now. So now if I come over here to the blur control, and then now I can blur everything except her. I can do it as much as I want to. And then as you can see, there's little bits of the mat there. I can then come back to my magic mask and then use my um, cleanup tools here. I can then come up to here and then clean this up a bit. And then I can blur the radius a little bit, as you can see there. It gives it a little bit more. But we're not going to go that far with the defocus on here. All we're going to do is come up to here and come up to our outside. And then just do something like this. Okay, so as you can see here, that's before and that's after. Now, if there's some area, sometimes you'll get a thing like maybe part of her arm might be missing or something like that. It's a very simple thing to fix. All you do is you come up to here, you do a second stroke for that one. And then if there's something that it picks up that you don't want, then you can use the minus uh, control here and then select that area and then track it and then it will take that off. And so there we have it like so. So this makes it a very useful tool for focusing your attention on the primary actor in the shot. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. And don't forget to look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.